Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we are doing a tutorial video on reading time on analog clocks. This is from MathDrills.com. Make sure to check out MathDrills.com in the description below. They have great worksheets and resources. Make sure to check them out. So number one, what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be reading the time. There's a lot of students that don't know how to read clocks like this, but you see them everywhere, especially on clock towers, etc. How do you read it? I'm going to break down kind of the basics of this. The number one thing you want to look at with these clocks is you want to look at the shorthand. The shorthand is the one that will tell you the hour, and then the longhand will tell you the minutes. Okay, so the shorthand tells you the hour, longhand tells you the minutes. So you always want to start with the shorthand. The shorthand is pointing to the seven. Okay, so we know we're going to have a seven here for our hour. Now, for the minutes, we're going to look here, and you're not going to put 12 for the minutes, okay? This green, okay, the hour hand, that will be associated with these numbers right here. However, if you're talking about the blue, the minute hand, really what you're looking at is you're looking at these numbers that are not written here. Instead, they're written with these little dashes. So one, two, three, four, five, as I have up the top, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see... The two, three, four, the numbers represent every five. So 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to just write them all. 40, 45, 50, 55, and then we get to 60, which again starts at zero. Okay, There's never like 7, 60 o'clock, right? It just would be 8 o'clock. So that's uh, just an important note there. Now that we have all this in place, we should be able to read this easily. We have the hour hand pointing at the 7. We know that's a 7. We have the minute hand pointing at 12, which means 0. Okay, And now we are going from noon. Okay, This is what this is referring to. And don't worry too much about this. Hopefully you're going to know um, what it's talking about. But we're going from noon to midnight. That's what this is signifying here. Is we're going from noon to midnight. So that means that this is p.m. and not a.m. Okay, So if you're approaching midnight, well, you know that you're going to be in the p.m. Uh, instead of a.m. In the a.m., you're getting closer to noon, not midnight. Okay, so here's another one. We have this one looks, this one's tricky. I'm glad we're going over this. We have the hour hand here. I'm highlighting that. And we have the minute hand here. Someone that might be a rookie to clocks would say, oh, this must be 3, and then what is that? 55, okay? But this is not 355, and the reason why is this has not fully arrived at the 3. If it had fully arrived at the 3, it would be even with it. But it's very close to the 3. Okay. Therefore, since it's still in this section right here, let me erase some stuff here. Since it's still approaching 3, it's still within the 2's space. So here's the 2 space. Anything in this region will still be 2 o'clock. And so that applies here. This is still in the 2 space. Now, we look at the blue, and we see that it's at 55. Okay, so this is 2.55. We're going from noon to midnight, so we know this is in the p.m. If this were 3 o'clock, okay, um, let me just go ahead and draw a clock here. If this were 3 o'clock, it would be perfectly to the right and up, and then as this is a traveling around that minute hand, we're going to get close to the four, okay, as this moves around. I actually can make it move. Let me go ahead and do an example, okay. So as this travels around, it's going to get, so it starts at the three, right, three o'clock. It's going to approach the four, but this is still three, 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 fifty-five, three, fifty-nine, four o'clock, okay. So that's how it works. It's going to, all this space is the 3 p.m. range. All this space is the 2 p.m. range, okay? That's probably the trickiest part about clocks, and we're going to see a few more examples where we understand that a little bit more clearly, okay? So looking at here, it's not on the 8, it's not on the 9, but we see that this is still in the 8 space right here. It hasn't actually touched the 9 yet, so we know this is in the 8 space. 8, okay? And then we're going to look at our blue minute hand. We see our minute hand is at the 10, and that's the 50, right? So then we have 850. We're going from midnight to noon. So this means that we are in the 
a.m. Okay, so if we just experience midnight and we're going to noon, that means it's in the a.m. And you'll be able to know that just based on your time of day. Unless you've been, I don't know, living in a cave or something, you might not know if it's a.m. or p.m. All right, let's continue with a few more examples. Here we have, again, you got to be real careful. You got to look at the correct hand. Here we have the, the hour hand and we're in the fives space. So we know it's going to be 5 p.m. Sorry, 5 p.m something i haven't checked the am or pm yet and then we have the minute hand and the minute hand is on what is that 20. okay and if you ever need to know again the six is halfway at 30 the 15 is quarter the nine is 45. okay and you can kind of figure it out in between so we're at the 20. so this is 5 20 going from noon to midnight we must be in the pm all right let's do a couple more um, this one's another five, okay, right? Because it looks like it's in the five space. It's not on the six yet. So this is going to be five. I'm just going to keep it in blue, okay? And we're at 25, but this time we're going from midnight approaching noon. That means we are in the a.m. Let's see if there's a tougher one somewhere. Number two is actually probably the toughest one. This is a cool example. I want to talk about this. Another clue you can use is here's our hour hand. It's halfway between two and three. It's still in the two space, right? But it's halfway in between and we can verify that because this minute hand is pointing down. So halfway between two and three is 2.30. Midnight approaching noon, we must be in the a.m. really early in the morning, okay? So halfway between that hour hand, you don't even have to really look at the minute hand. You know it should be halfway 2.30. Okay, um, this was a good one to end on, okay? So uh, if you need more help on some of the ones I didn't cover, let me know. Ask a question in the comment section below. But I'm looking at the hour hand here, and we're still in the seven space. And notice how we're pretty close to the seven, so it must be early in the hour, okay? I'm looking at this uh, minute hand, and I see it's pointing to the three. That's 15. So I know it's gonna be, I don't know why I changed color, but I did, 7.15, midnight approaching noon, AM. Okay. And again, it's 15. It's early in the hour. The earlier it is in the hour, the closer it is to that starting hour. The later it is to the hour, or sorry, in the hour, like for example, 755, like we did for number three, it's going to be closer to the next hour up. Okay. So the hour hand gives you a lot of useful information. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out others like this on my channel. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.